Hello guys, it is me back with another video on FMG question. So today I am going to discuss anatomy of upper limb. So, so let us begin. Small muscles of hand are supplied by. Um, actually, uh, here they have given the roots value. So first is C3, C4, C6, C5, C7 and C8 to, to T1. Now pause and get, try to answer this question because this question is uh, Slightly difficult, not that difficult, but slightly difficult. I know you can do it. So, in order to answer this question, we need to understand the muscle supplied by the terminal branches of the brachial plexus. So, uh, we have five branches musculocutaneous nerve, axillary nerve, uh, radial nerve, um, median nerve, and the ulnar nerve. Okay, so uh, we are going to discuss the uh, this uh, the branches of the musculocutaneous nerve all these nerves uh, and the motor supply of the nerves okay so musculocutaneous nerve the root value is c5 to c to c7 and it supplies the anterior com compartment of the arm okay of the arm anterior compartment of the arm uh, okay and uh, and it has also branches uh, articular branches for for the shoulder and, and elbow joint and uh, and the lateral cutaneous branch for the lateral aspect of the forearm okay now uh, coming to the axillary nerve so the root value of the axillary nerve is the c5 to, to c6 and it supplies the deltoid muscle and the teres minor muscle and the axillary nerve also provides sensory innervation to a small area on the skin over the over the shoulder region okay uh specific, specifically the, the, the lateral aspect of the uh, upper arm okay now uh coming to the uh, radial nerve so radial nerve uh the root value of the of the radial nerve is c5 to t1 all the roots of the brachial plexus get involved to form the uh, radial nerve and mainly posterior compartment muscles of forearm muscles they are they are inhibited by the radial nerve okay and and some of the exam, examples of the of the muscles inhibited by the radial nerve are tricep brachii brachii radialis and all extensor muscles of the forearm now the now coming to the sensory supply of the of the radial nerve so um, uh, so it, it supplies the back of the arm see back of the hand and also the ventral side or the palm or the palm of the hand you can see in the in this diagram the um we, we we will first talk about the about back of the hand so back of the hand it supplies the uh, thumb uh, index finger middle finger and the and the half of the half of the ring finger okay and uh, and you can see the palm 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 of the hand so it it supplies the um, back of the um, back of the thumb okay the median nerve is also a, a very important nerve because it supplies the all the muscles of the hand uh, not exactly all but but most of the most of the muscles of the hand okay so it innervates the flexor flexor and the and the pronator muscles in the anterior compartment of the forearm anterior compartment okay um uh, what did, what did, what did i tell you in the in the in the um, radial nerve, it inhibits the posterior compartment, compartment of the forearm. This inhibits the anterior compartment of the forearm. Okay, so I'm fine. And um, yeah, also it supply it also supplies innervation to the inner muscles and and the lateral to lumbricals in the hand. Okay, thinner muscles, thinner muscles like uh, thinner muscles are the uh, are the muscles uh, which are which are on the thumb side okay and the hypo hypothenar muscles are the muscles which are uh, which are on the pinky side pinky side means this uh, this uh, uh, small finger okay now the sensory function gives gives rise to the uh, give rise to the palmar cutaneous cutaneous, cutaneous branch which inhibits the lateral aspect of the palm lateral aspect see this is the palm hello yeah so this is the palm and uh, and it innovates it and it innovates the lateral aspect of the palm. Lateral aspect means this one. Okay. This one. 
this whole thing this whole thing okay so it emits the thumb first second third and fourth uh, fourth half okay fourth half uh, means the thumb index finger middle finger and the ring finger half of the half half of the ring finger okay fine and and at the dorsal dorsal aspect of the hand it it, it inhibits the um the uh, index finger the middle finger and the half of the ring finger as you can see see in this diagram okay now allal nerve so allal nerve originated from the c8 and t1 nerve roots which form the medial cord of the brachial plexus and it also innervates two muscles in the anterior in the anterior compartment of the forearm which are called as the flexor carpi ulnaris and the flexor and the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus and it has and it has three branches um first is the muscular branch second is the palmar cutaneous 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 cutane, cutane branch and third one is the dorsal cutaneous branch now um pa the muscular branch will innervate this these the, these two muscles apart from this the muscular branch will also innervate the hand muscle uh, which 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 include the hypothenar muscles medial to lumbaricals adductor pollicis in process of the hand and the palm is brevis okay so we have finished the muscular branch of the ulnar nerve okay now the cutaneous nerve um, or the sensory nerve sensory branch of the ulnar nerve to be more precise so <clears throat> so sensory branch of the ulnar nerve it 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 innervates the it it innervates the, uh, it, it, it the uh, skin of the middle half of the hand skin of the middle half of the hand and dorsal cutaneous branch innervates the skin of the middle one one and half fingers okay and the uh, and the associated dorsal hand area okay and um, and yeah now uh, coming to the superficial branch it also innervates the palm the palm surface of the middle half, one and half one and half finger so this diagram is very very useful and very easy to understand okay fine guys so our answer will be what what will be our answer tell me it will be obviously the c5 to c5 c7 and c8 to t1 because the c5 to c7 um and c8 to t1 are the nerve roots of the median nerve and also the c8 to t1 are the nerve roots of the ulnar nerve okay fine so all all small muscles of hand that is thinner hypothenar muscles interosseous interosseous uh, muscles and the lumbaricals are supplied, are supplied by the median nerve and the ulnar nerve which which origin from c5 c7 and c8 and t1 nerve okay guys thank you for watching bye